Hello everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another card video. Today I'm using the brand new Beautiful Balloons stamp set from Reverse Confetti to create a birthday card. Um, this is actually Reverse Confetti's anniversary. They've been in the business for many years and this is a day to celebrate all of the fun products that Reverse Confetti brings to us. So first I'm going to be stamping this balloon shape onto some black watercolor paper. This is Stonehenge uh, Legion black watercolor paper. I'll have it linked down below if you'd like to pick up some black watercolor paper. And I'm using watercolor paper in particular because I'm going to be painting these balloons with a very shimmery, glittery watercolor paint from Yuli Watercolors. And I'm going to be adding quite a bit of water on these to get the colors to mix. So I wanted to make sure that I used watercolor paper. Speaking of those paints, it is the Summer 2021 set from Yuli. And they are absolutely beautiful. Big thank you to Jeannie for sending these over to me. It was such a fun surprise and I can't wait for you guys to see how beautiful these are. So while I paint these balloons, I thought I would just uh, let you a little, know a little bit about Reverse Confetti as it relates to me. Um, Jen Del Muro, the owner of Reverse Confetti, she also illustrates all of the stamp sets. Uh, we actually did a 10K together at Disney World. It was the very last time that I was in Disney World before everything shut down. And um, it was so fun and amazing to just with her in the parks and running around and, and doing that 10k, something that I think both of us never believed we could ever achieve something like that. But um, working on it with a friend, you know, she lives in Texas and I live in Utah. So we would text each other and keep each other posted on how we were doing on our training. And it was such a great supportive environment for doing something like that. And so, um, this is a day to celebrate Jen and thank her for all of her contributions to the crafting industry and also show you guys a really fun birthday card. So this is really fun. So what I'm doing is I am mixing two colors on each balloon. I bring the colors from each kind of corner of the balloon and then mix them in the center with my paintbrush. I believe this is a size six round brush, but we're not doing super detailed painting at this point. So you could use whatever brush you have. So you'll notice I put the two colors on and then I sort of swirl and mix the paint on the paper instead of like mixing in a palette or something like that. And by doing this, you get a really nice kind of fade between the colors. And if you ever have one color that's sort of overpowering another, go ahead and just add a little more color on top. It works great. So these paints can be used on a regular white watercolor paper or a lighter surface, but I think where they really sing and look absolutely spectacular is when it's on a dark surface. So I'm going to add on these last few colors. And I apologize if you hear like hammering and banging right now. I don't know if you can hear it in the voiceover or not. Um, got a little bit of handiwork home improvement happening <laughs> right now. So um, that's what that sound is if you hear it. I'm not sure if you can or not. So I'm painting these on, making sure I get a good mix of color in the center of the balloons. And then I'm mostly going to let these air dry. The first balloons that I painted are pretty much dry at this point since I've been painting all the other others, but I didn't see a difference in quality, whether you let them air dry or if you speed them along with a heat tool. So this is what they look like. They're so absolutely beautiful and shimmery. I can't quite decide if this is glittery or shimmery. I, I'm not sure. They sort of have holographic flakes in the paint. It's really interesting. I don't know that I've ever seen paints quite like this before. I think they're really beautiful. I'll have these linked down below in the supply list as well. I then took the coordinating dies for the beautiful balloon stamp set and I cut out all of these balloons with the one die that matches. So I have six balloons total and I'm going to position them on a slimline card. So my slimline cards, I have a 
bunch of envelopes that are size 10 business envelopes that I like to use, but technically a slimline card is for a number nine envelope. So this is actually slightly larger than a traditional slimline card. This is actually four inches wide by nine inches tall. So I position these balloons where I want them and then I'm using a pencil just to mark the very bottom of the balloons and this will help me stamp and emboss the strings for all the balloons. I'm going to slide these balloons off to the side, keeping their same positions so I can remember where I, where I wanted them. And then I'm going to prep this entire black piece of watercolor paper. Yes, again, I'm using watercolor paper. You'll see why in a minute. I'm going to do painting on the background. Um, I've prepped it with an anti-static powder tool and then I'm using the two string images from the stamp set and I'm going to be kind of flipping them upside down and turning them to get them to look a little bit different as I stamp each one of these strings for the balloons. Um, like I said, I have six balloons, so I've got six different strings hanging down. After I have those stamped, I'm going to take some white embossing powder. This is the same white embossing powder that I used for the balloons themselves. This is alabaster embossing powder from Brutus Monroe. And I'm applying that, shaking off the excess, and then hitting that with my heat tool. I love how whimsical these curly uh, little strings are. I think that it looks so festive for birthdays. I've cut some foam tape to use on the back of the balloons, and then I'm just placing them directly over the top of those string ends. If you remember, I penciled a dot where that string would be stamped. So these are perfectly positioned for all of my balloons. I put all five of these that are adhered down already on one piece of foam tape. And this last balloon, I doubled up the foam tape since it overlaps three different balloons. So my balloons are all in the correct positions. Now I'm going to stamp a greeting. I've got some vellum here. This is 40 pound vellum from Basil. And I'm stamping my greeting from the stamp set that says birthday wishes in Versamark ink. I'm going to heat emboss this with that same white embossing powder that I've been using all along. I love white embossing on vellum. I think it looks so sharp and elegant. So after I have that applied, I'll hit this with my heat tool until everything of the powder is smooth and melted. I'll trim this down so it's a more narrow strip. And then I'm going to position it over the top of my balloons piece to sort of figure out where exactly I want this greeting. I'm gonna have it overlap the, some of the strings at the very bottom. And I'm marking where the edge of the card is. I'm gonna do some scoring to help me fold this around the card a little bit easier. So I'm scoring that at the two ends using a score buddy and a Teflon bone folder. And then I can fold these down and have them prepped and ready to be adhered to my card design. I've placed that kind of in position and then I'm gonna flip it over and fold back the flaps, put some adhesive. I'm seeing Tombow Extreme Adhesive here. And I will go ahead and press down one side and get that just straight on my card design. And then I can carefully fold back the other side and it's in the perfect position. So I wanted to add a bunch of little almost dots that look like confetti all over the background of this card. So currently this watercolor panel is not adhered to a card base yet. I'm going to be adhering that in a bit. Um, at this point, I'm taking all six of those colors from that paint set, just adding a bunch of dots. And you almost cannot put too many on this because it looks like confetti. It looks so festive. So I finished the card design. I'm gonna make the card base now. It is cut to nine inches by uh, eight inches. So it's actually um, eight inches wide by nine inches tall and then I scored the card base at four inches. So it has a finished size of four by nine. That is the perfect size to fit inside a standard number 10 business envelope. So this is gonna fit in there nice and snug. I've scored that and folded it down and adhered 
the card design to the card base. And that's the card for today. Just a reminder that this beautiful balloon stamp set is available at the reverseconfetti.com shop or at simonsaysstamp.com. And these paints are available over at Etsy in Yuli Watercolors shop. Thanks so much for watching today. I'll be back very soon with another card.